Okay, so if you refresh, it should work. Okay. We should be back. Hey, Ghost. Nice and clear. Good, man. Hey, Arizona. Uh, Roman numeral guy. XVL, CL, CV, XVM. I can't read all that. Thank you for the follow. Hey, make money first. Better? Good. Glad to hear it's better. Rostrella, thank you for the follow. I don't know where they're putting the Guardian at. Meme on PC. Welcome aboard. You really like this map, no lie? Well, that's good. Ah, I'm trying to get over here and take down the Guardian with my Ripper. Much, much better. Good to know. So I figured out what the problem was. It was a really dumb problem. I was streaming in extremely high quality. I had all my settings kind of set up for YouTube, so I was just hitting it with like that YouTube 10 megabit. Mixer doesn't like that YouTube 10 megabit very much. Truly, it does not. Ah. Much, much better. Good to know. Good to know. Swath Cornet, thank you for the follow. And I am planning to stream some Black Ops 4 on Mixer. Not sure exactly when. I'm probably going to do a similar kind of thing and do a YouTube stream and then transition over and do a mixer stream. I got to get this dude's RPK. I haven't used the RPK. Hey, Draconian. If YouTube does better quality, why not stay with YouTube? Because YouTube makes incredibly stupid decisions about how it manages its creators and its content and its platform and its monetization and virtually everything. So, wow, there's so many of these back here on Alpha. I guess I'm just going to have to fight over B is what's going to happen. Hey, Brandon Blake, glad you like Mixer. I'm just gonna stay in here then. Hostile UAV above. There we go. Helsing, thank you for the mixer sub, dude. Appreciate that. Mixer sub is very, very, very direct support. Mixer sub is uh, incredibly financially good for me. <laughs> thank you for that, dude. River Lizard, thank you for the follow. to make sure that guy's dead. Ah, if I could have turned and shot him, I would have been on, on point for a kill streak. MESJ Money says, I haven't played COD since Black Ops 3. Anything I need to be aware of before playing Black Ops 4? Nope. If you can play Black Ops 3, you can play Black Ops 4, I guarantee you. No problems. What are you doing hiding back here? Leon G. Mage, thank you for the sub, dude. Appreciate it. Appreciate it very, very much. Such a competitive rate. <laughs> yes. A phallusophic discussion. Yes, we can make it very phallus if you want. Your mama, thank you for the follow. Thoughts on Destiny 2? It's a game that I don't play. I don't enjoy grindy PvE games. Soulless Mercury, thank you for the follow. I don't get a lot of satisfaction out of killing bots or AI, so I don't really play that. It's one of the reasons I don't play zombies too much. Zombies are unique in that, you know, a zombie is kind of a bot, but the, they behave very much like a real zombie would, so you can kind of slip in and play fantasy zombie survival when you're doing that. Outside of zombies, I don't get into PvE games very much, because I just don't derive a lot of uh, satisfaction from taking down AI. Taking down people is just way, way more fun for me. I want your RPK, buddy. And I'm not going to get to use your RPK. Oh, what's more hype? This uh, or Black Ops 5 or this? Actually, I think that Black Ops 5 and Battlefield 5, that was the question. You were asking me what was more hype, Battlefield 5 or Black Ops 4. I can't keep all my sequels. We'll just say Battlefield and Black Ops. I think this year each company is fighting negative hype. Battlefield has some sort of anti-hype going on for the first time in a long time. They're having quite a few problems with historically not remotely accurate Battlefield 5. Their fan base did not appreciate the creative liberties that they took with it. 
and Black Ops 4 is having some very big issues in regards to their content distribution plans, primarily. Lack of campaign also hurt. The general belief is that Treyarch just scrapped campaign in favor of Battle Royale as a quick cash grab. I don't believe that. I don't think that's true. All the rumors I've heard indicated that campaign wasn't panning out, and they decided to do no campaign instead of a bad campaign. I see him back there. I want your RPK, buddy. Yes! Satisfying. I think my wife just woke up. I heard her out uh, walking around the house. She might have just gone out to play some Pokemans. We go prone out over here. Oh, looks like we already lost. I only got to use the RPK for just a little bit. Torasama says, This is my first stream watching that isn't a VOD on YouTube. I've been watching you since the Machinima years. That's been a long time ago. And I have to say that you've developed into an amazing channel that I'm proud to support. I enjoy your deeper videos and in-depth series very, very much. Keep up the amazing work. Thank you, Torasama SSB. I hope that you're able to tune in for more streams in the future. We just, well, you've seen them on VOD and we know how we do. As long as I cannot tilt off of the face of the earth... Everything tends to go pretty well, though unfortunately some days I get very, very tilted, largely in regards to my technology that is not always kind to me. You want to see some CS? Ah, oh, dude, people get so salty when I play games that I don't stream or play very much because they expect you, this guy's never played Counter-Strike before, he must be almost pro, and then you come in and you don't do good and it's frustrating. Hey, Wood Squirrel, um, dun, 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 spraying tick, thank you for the follow. Okay, good to have you back, Wood Squirrel. Said he just came back a few months ago. How expensive is a Doge? I'm in. I am a Chicago boy, and I want one so bad. If you buy one from a breeder, it's going to be a few grand. Speaking of which, I tried to get my Doge cam set up. That didn't work. I have this Doge cam working just fine. This Doge camera is malfunctioning, and this one is working. So it's so weird. I don't. Uh, I guess I don't. I don't get a daily double. I suppose. Let me go to my black market. Uh, yeah, I've already wow. used my daily double. It's okay. I don't really need anything. Um, I'd rather play neither of these maps if I get a choice. Let's play with a goofier melee weapon. Perfect. Let's make him green and glowy and annoying. What is a gun that I haven't used very much? Let's go to class 10. Let's change up class 10. Pharaoh? Why not Pharaoh? There's no reason not to Pharaoh. I'll just do this. Yeah, I guess that'll be our Pharaoh. Oop, we gotta change our camo. Oh, we didn't get to change it. Hey, Oz. Hey, Oz, you wanna come up here, buddy? You wanna come up here? Come on, get on the camera. Get on the camera, damn it. You're a good boy. You're not a smart boy, but you're a good boy. Quailana says, what DLC weapons are you missing? Most of them. Uh, most of them. But Tastic Waffle. I keep hearing about the U.S. has no easy allies to choose in the Middle East due to the presence of Pershmogus. They have shown themselves to be the most likely option in the region. Should we try to ally ourselves with them that relist relations with Turkey? Also, do you think it's a good idea that Turkey's still in NATO? Turkey should not be a member of NATO. Uh, oh, yes. Turkey is in NATO, I think think but they're not in the european union that's i don't they're not in the eu i'm gonna i'm gonna google this real quick before i talk out of my ass yeah turkey is in nato um i think they have to be because if they're not then they're just gonna choose to ally with russia which is by default not nato <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna do a little lmg work here turkey has to be in nato nato is not the european union you can be you could I guess, in theory, be Chinese and be a NATO. Like, a NATO is basically not Russia. It's a guaranteed military act against Russia. The strange thing is, though, that Turkey is oddly militarily closely aligned with Russia these days. For pretty obvious regions, they want they want to align with somebody that will give them more influence in the region. You little turd. You absolute turd. I'm going to go back to my... Oh, that's not it. I wanted the, I wanted the Pharaoh. I guess I've got nunchucks for now. What do you do with deal with stress? Either through working or bad teammates. I've started to write. Per um, Helsing, when I get really, really stressed out, I punch concrete walls until my hands get all crackly or the skin falls off. 
It's not a good way to deal with stress, but that's what I do, and that's the honest answer. Sometimes I freak out and complain about things on Twitter. Sometimes I, uh, I eat a whole bunch of bad food. Sometimes I go to the gym and exercise until I get sick and throw up. Uh, I don't have really good coping mechanisms for extreme degrees of stress. But that, that's what I do. That's the real story. Unfortunately. So, as for the NATO question, that's a freaking hard one, dude. Now, Turkey is um, very belligerent in their region. They're run by a dictator now, in no uncertain, uncertain terms. They're becoming increasingly Islamist and pro-Russian. It's We want them in NATO because we don't want Russia building bases in Turkey because that gives them much easier and better access to Europe than anywhere else. But that's pretty much it. If, if it weren't for the fact that we want Turkey's land to be untouched by Russia, we would probably kick them out of NATO in a split second. Warsaw Pact was dissolved in 1991, my bad. Hey, Fear Supa. Cod is dead. No, Cod's not dead. There's so many people playing Black Ops 3 right now. Wow, stupid RCXDs are so, so... Yeah, I wouldn't say that Turkey's... Weird politically, Turkey is in, in, in steps to becoming a small little dictatorship. It's pretty much already there. That, I mean, it's really almost already happened, but Turkey is not doing well. Bad things are happening in Turkey. COD will never die. COD is such a big brand, it may really not ever die. It may go on for a very, very, very long time. I mean, I'm not trying to build up the brand or, you know, COD cocksuck, which is what you get a lot. And COD could very realistically be around 20 years from now. Even if it dropped bad game after bad game after bad game, the brand is so strong. So many people play it. It's such an uh, integral part in the development of so many young men and women and, and people around the world that Call of Duty could and even has for some time survived for a very, very long time releasing bad games. Shh, I don't know why I did that. Ah, cardio, I see what you mean with that. Yeah, I feel you on that one. Okay. Thermalt, thank you for following me on Twitch. Of all things. Feels weird. What? Not sure how that wasn't a hit, but alright. Futuristic weapons you want to see in an upcoming COD game. I want to see AUGs, I want to see FAMASs, I want to see more weapons from FN. It's one of the things that I enjoyed about the Black Ops series, and that I would like to see in more future games is that they took a lot of those Cold War prototype weapons and put them in the game. Weapons that didn't really pan out, you know, they weren't really traditionally good weapons, but they were able to take them, upscale them into the future, and put them into the game. And that's kind of what I hope to see more in Call of Duty's future. More of these mythical weapons. They don't want to put in P90s and Desert Eagles and stuff like that, because if you use a Desert Eagle, you have to pay Desert Eagle a license fee for their name and their weapons. But if you use the Deagle, well, maybe not. So that's why you see so many of these definitely not P90s with the Weevil and stuff, but... I want to see that. There's, there's a few neglected guns. There's a few Remington weapons. There's a few uh, really strange guns I'd love to see, like the original Sledgehammer shotgun. What's another fun one? AN-94 was a really fun one. That was a brilliant add into uh, Black Ops 2. Let me think about this for a minute. Well, this is the judge, basically. Mm, I'd like to see more cylindrical mag guns. More than anything, I think I would like to see a wider variety of undermount attachments. Justin HD, think for the follow. I'd like to see more than just one kind of grip. I'd like to see a couple kind of grips. I'd like to see a couple different kind of stocks. I'd like to see uh, chokes on shotguns, underbarrel attachments. Uh, I'd like to see bayonets. Um, I don't know, I like to see bolo shells. A lot of crazy stuff. A lot of goofy stuff you could put in. I don't think people would care. Ender Slayer. Thank you for the sub, dude. Appreciate it. Yeah, this is the BO3 splash map. I don't really like it very much. I'm kind of getting pooped on here. Commando, MW2 Scar, the Assault Rifle are Kings. Change my mind. Uh, da -da -da -da. MW2 ACR. Hmm. Having a good Scar back would be good. The ACR always comes back not in name, but as some other weapon. How long do you think Fortnite nice. continues to be popular? At least two years. Minimum of two years on Fortnite. Chessit, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Fortnite will be popular for at least two years. Just minimum. There's no way you can break it earlier than that. 
Have you ever heard of the Ikunzi Paw? I have not heard of that. Helsing, what is that? Wow, I heavy thumbs that one super hard. That was embarrassing. I'm just kind of playing potato. I'm mostly talking to the chat tonight more than I am focusing on any of this gameplay. Don't worry, I'm flanking their spawn, guys. I don't care if they get Bravo, as long as I get spawn kills. I think when the Blops beta comes out, I'm gonna be such a sweaty tryhard. Do it, do it, kid, do it! Oh, you had that up. Mm. Favorite weapon in Black Ops 3? Oh, uh, boy. Favorite weapon in Black Ops 3 might be the melee weapons. I really like melee in this game. That sounds silly, but I have a ton of fun with the sword and some of the goofier melee weapons. That was fair. I think we each killed one. That was very good. Oh, except he didn't make it. And I just reset the capturing. Well, we still got the point. That's all that matters. Requesting you. Uh, apparently, if you have Comcast ISP, you get a f free beta without any pre-orders. That's good to know. Thank you, Big Daddy Dago. Black Ops 4 Remastered? Look, if you guys live long enough, if the world doesn't end due to, you know, a bacterial infection, a gray goo, a comet, global warming, or killer penguins, you may yet live long enough to see Black Ops 4 Remastered. I bet that's possible. Dude, I am so spacing out right now. Aliens! Yes, aliens. Killer penguins are a real threat. Mr. Serial, I don't know how many... Uh, have you seen how many penguins there are? Flopping around on icebergs and stuff? There's thousands of those things. If they if they turn feral and get vicious, it could be the end of us all. Killer penguins are the real deal. If you don't believe me, just go to Antarctica and I want you to kick a penguin. Just go find a penguin and kick him and watch him go quack! But then all his buddies are going to come in and peck you to death. It's hell on earth, I tell you. Oh, they turned around. I thought I could just double back on him. Like in Futurama? Sure. Drift, do you support third wave feminism? I definitely support first and second wave, uh, but third just seems gratuitous and counterintuitive. No, I am not a third wave feminist. At all, and I agree with you. Very good choice of the words right there. I definitely would consider myself a feminist if you're looking at first and second wave feminism or very basic. Men and women should have equal rights. Yes, 100% on board with that. The third wave feminism of this really, like, counterintuitive, anti-sex, anti-men, very militant, aggressive, uh, very questionable, <laughs> like, vi sometimes violently lesbian, exterminate all men, all men are criminals, all men are rapists, all that kind of crap, I'm not on board with that at all. I'm 0% on board with the extreme feminism, which... The very technical definition of it, according to Diesel Frost, who has a women's studies degree, would say that that's not third, third wave feminism, but that's the easy shorthand for it. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, violently lesbian. Uh, Cos Doubloon693, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The type of feminism that is so anti man that they consider it a. What's the right word? A a compliment or a benefit to your personality or that it makes you a better feminist if you reject men to the point where you don't even breed with them like that's that's silly you can and i this is this is maybe a terrible person to reference because i know it may come back to bite me in the butt hugh hefner had a very interesting view on feminism the guy who was known for being sexist and running the playboy mansion and all of that he said he was very pro women's rights and women's liberation women's freedom to vote women's job women everything but he left and stopped donating to feminist movements when they became anti-sex. When they became anti-sexuality, anti-freedom of expression, and anti-men, he just kind of absconded from that. Um, Batastic Waffle is talking about crime in Japan, and you're right that there's a cultural element to it. But also, you should look into the book Freakonomics in Japan. And you'll notice that a fair amount of their low crime 
also has to do with the fact that police get punished for not solving crimes. So any crime that even looks remotely difficult or unsolvable gets not reported or written off as an accident. There's a lot of, and that's part of the reason there's the suicide rate, the quote suicide rate is so high in Japan. They're not really suicides, it's just if they don't think they can catch the murderer, they're just going to write it off as a suicide. The Butch Army Brigade. Genetic tampering. Uh, that's a hard one. That, I, 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 on one hand, I'm all for improving genetics to make people better, smarter, stronger, faster. Then you can literally end up with a class system. A master race, if you will, if you tampered with it enough. Uh, that rich kids would always be born smarter, better, stronger, faster than poor kids because they could just buy those perks and they would inherently be better than the poorest who can never catch up. And the other thing about genetic tampering is I don't really know what it's going to do to uh, evolution, our breeding, our genetics. We could accidentally inbreed in some very, very unuseful genes and really destroy ourselves in the future. Ender Slave? Uh, Ender Slayer? Ender Slayer. I'm glad that you enjoy watching the stream. Bump, ba -dum, bump, bump. Gonna do that, perfect. And I will have you guys here that know, because you guys watch the streams more than anybody. Oh, Mr. Serial, I definitely like anime. I watch plenty of it. I'm not uh, into it in that I pretend to speak Japanese or anything, but uh, I like anime. Yeah, Kill the Kill's good stuff. I don't, nah, Yu-Gi-Oh's not for me, dude. Yu-Gi-Oh's a kid's show. <laughs> Can't do Yu-Gi-Oh. I was going to say, oh yes, for those of you here that do watch the streams, I do like Rainbow Six Siege or Estrella. My Hero Academia is fantastic. The what is it? the next stream that we're probably going to do here, if it's not Fortnite, it'll be Beat Saber. And I have found a way to get the custom Sabers mods to work. And we can do custom songs, finally. Custom Beat Saber songs are on the way. And the way that works is video game music. Video game music you can't get strikes for. So if it's in a game and it's modded on Beat Saber, I can play it. So the next time we're going to do that, I've loaded up a ton of them for presets. I'll be taking a ton for requests. Did you get good at Rip and Tear yet? Fireside. I've got to try can make it halfway through the song. I can't finish the last half. I probably could. There's one section in the middle that's super hard. I can't get past that because I have to hit right-handed notes up in the air like this. And I have to hit left-handed notes on the ground like this. So my arms are crossed and I have to hit them swinging not away but back in so i have to like do this weird like hit yourself in the head fly motion to hit them at like 300 beats per minute and i can't get past that section the secret is to do it backwards maybe i don't know i, I actually gave it you joking man cardio but i really gave it some thought to doing it backwards i really sat here and thought to myself i wonder if i could just do it backwards i wonder how it'd be better you know obviously that's a stupid idea but i tried i wonder who's streaming on mixed data tonight who else is on? Bones is on. Hubs is on. Nope, Hubs is not on. Oh well. I don't know where he went. Domination. Uh, da -da -da -da. Uh, military augments and genetic treatments. Well, that would be nice. It'd be nice to be able to do some of that kind of stuff. Yeah, the whoosh is a ping. Do, 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 do. T. Martin. What? Stem cell research. Stem cell research is great. We need to be doing more of it. Wave your moth into the follow. That's what's going to cure cancer. Oh, no. There was one more wiener back there camping. I'm going to have to go touch that wiener. That's not acceptable. Guys, do you want me to go touch his wiener? Let me know. Yes or no. They never cured. Can treatments make them too much? I don't know. I think a cancer cure would make a lot. Okay, we're going to go touch some wieners, guys. You got it. Wiener touching mode engaged. I've got my big gold PP, and I'm going to go try to touch their wee-wees. There's one wee-wee touch. Oh, here's another wiener. See, if you just don't rush in and let him come to you. Wiener touched. You can't stay very long. You won't be able to cap it. Oh, no, no, no! He didn't like the wee-wee touching. 
I guess I'm going to have to go back and touch it again. I'm going to have to do a Kevin Spacey on him. Yep, that was a good weeby touch. He liked it. He thought he didn't at first, and then after a little while, it, it just started growing on him. Into him. That's that's two weeby touches with one shot. We're doing really, really good here. This is FBI open up. Okay. Got a long range gun. Another Weeby touch. Okay, apparently my Weeby wasn't long enough to touch him over there. I needed a longer Weeby. Uh, Kira Sylph, those are all very Draven Show. Thank you for the follow. Kira Sylph, those are all very fantastic technological developments that work great in theory and are plausible. Unfortunately, we're a long way from properly developing those. We're so far off. You know what? I'm going to come over here and take Alpha, or help take Alpha. I'm going to get these easy points, man. I'm probably going to be too late. This dude's probably going to take Alpha without me. Ah, oh, Super close. Okay, so now I've got a much longer Weewee. So I'm going to come up here and try and touch him with the long-range Weewee. Man, the long-range Weewee takes skill to aim. Close-range Weewee is a little bit easier. I'm a little afraid. There's not enough of my teammates around to protect me from these enemy weewees. I gotta go. Oh no! He also has a big green weewee. That's terrible. The more I talk about wieners, the more people come. What is this? Zohan? Weewee PP touch? I don't know. I'm just saying dumb stuff, dude. I've been streaming for an hour or two now. I was tired before I started streaming. I just exercised today, angry, into the ground a little bit, so. Just working on it. What are you doing in here? Wait, you're 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 an ally. Get out of here. We lost a. Well, now I have to make it a point to wee wee touch some more people with my slicey wee wee. Ah, that one worked too. UAV on standby. <laughs> Uh, Draven Show says, you putting up a YouTube video of the new Black Ops trailer? I'm probably gonna do that tomorrow. Or maybe not. I don't know. I did my stream tonight. Everybody else has already done a trailer video, so at this point, I don't know if it's necessary for me to do a trailer video. It feels kind of unnecessary, to tell you the truth. Like, that, that's kind of where I'm at, is that the, the time that Activision has been releasing things is almost always around my gym time. And, and so often, it's just by the time I'm ready to actually make content about a thing, 400 other people have already made that content, and they're already higher up in the search results than I'll ever be. So it's really demotivating, and I just kind of nope out of it. Maybe that's... I'm being a lazy tuber. Maybe I need to try a little harder. But uh, it, do, it definitely does demotivate me. It's kind of similar with Fortnite. I've been trying to find my groove there, you know, with the patch notes and some of these other things, but it is, it is a bit of a challenge. Whoa! Oh, come on! That's so annoying. I was so close to my big streak, which isn't even really that big of a streak. Don't judge me. I need to point whore a little bit more. Do you use the PS4 Pro drift? Nah, Benz, I really don't use the PS4 Pro. I really don't. But the more advanced tech behind Mixer, do you think it'll take over Twitch someday? Or is Daddy Bezos from Amazon uh, 2 OP and Microsoft for Microsoft? I don't know. Uh, I think that they need, they definitely need some site-wide improvements. I think right now, instead of taking over Twitch, Mixer needs to focus on stopping Facebook from growing and taking over YouTube. They've definitely been recruiting some people from YouTube. I'm one of them. But I don't think that they are ready to take on Twitch yet. Even YouTube isn't really ready to take on Twitch yet, like for reals. You don't have to dribble what others say, but your thoughts are always insightful. Even a three-minute commentary would be cool. Thank you, Draven Show. Da -da -da, it's going to be 4K to VR first. Do you guys really... So I'm not... I guess I'm fishing for a compliment in a manner of speaking, but... Do you guys really think that what I have to say is that insightful that it's worth making a video? 
I mean, after everybody else has already done it, when it's two days late and everybody and their grandma already has COD videos out, is the insights that I have so good that it's still justifiable for a video? Am I really doing something that right? There's a lot of- oh my lord! That guy took me to pound town. It doesn't always feel that way. Wolf Squirrel, yeah. You're one of the greats and smart. Short and sweet and correct, okay. That's why we watch you. Yeah, Leon G. Grape. Leon G. Mage. Apologies, I read that super wrong. Almond, thank you for the follow. I, I definitely get that. I'm not trying to short sell myself, and I, I get why some of you guys watch me, but... If, let's, let's say the trailer was three days old, do I really offer insights that people haven't in that amount of time? That's what seems strange to me. Because I would imagine that in, at least the way I see it, is that if something's two or three days old, then everybody said every conceivable thing there is to say, and I assume that many of you are subbed to multiple channels, so you would get it somewhere else. I get more information from me than anyone else? Well, that's actually kind of a scary thing. I, I haven't watched a lot of COD videos lately, but I definitely see that in Fortnite. And I don't know about you guys, but when it comes to Fortnite, getting news or information, I literally had to stop watching YouTube and other content creators because there was nothing I could... I couldn't learn anything. It was all garbage. Hello, Jessica. I've been I've been in a interesting place tonight with technical problems. I'm streaming on a capture card that I don't have, and I'm using a microphone that I don't have, but it's working. Mm, okay. It's a phantom card. Yeah, it was really frustrating. My audio broke again, even though I perfectly set it up for the stream and did a test run. And then my video broke, but when I selected a capture card that I have uninstalled and an audio thing that I have uninstalled, it went back to working. Even though those aren't even physically plugged in. strange. I just did some Pokemaning. Ah, I heard you go out. I thought you were going out to uh, meet your boyfriend. That's right, my boyfriend, Pokemon. Yeah. Jim. Scumbag Pikachu. People were like, it's Detective Pikachu, they'll go with that. <laughs> well, it could be. You should have just said, yeah, it is. I did, actually. Yeah. It's like, yeah, sure. It's sure. not scumbag Pikachu. Enemy has Z. Oh! What a... Mm -hmm. I think those are the guns I'm going to use next. I think that should be next. Big Daddy Dago says yes. I say yes. He says hi, Jess, but I say yes. Here, I'm going to take you guys to couch cam so you can see my wife and my, my animals. That's doge cam. This is couch cam. You're on camera now, not me. You have to look at the little C920. I'm looking at the C920. Oh, I couldn't tell. It's a little delayed. Ozzy's there being a good boy. So if you're hungry, then what do you want to eat for food? S'more salads. S'more salad? Yeah, Perhaps between a graham cracker crust? That sounds fantastic. Graham cracker croutons? Speaking my language. I mean, I went to get, you know, chicken sandwiches and you basically made me eat salad for lunch, so yay. Yeah. Well, you have a healthier choice. Something like that. Hostile counter UAV above. Radar is down. Losing B. Losing C. He said no. Those guns look wrong. Oh, these guns wreck people. <laughs> They're not dumb at all. Korean barbecue is life a simulation? It could be, for all I know. Hey, Sparky. Doctor's orders, more meat. Young Jedi, thank you for the follow. Yeah, the doctor said, don't smoke as much weed. I said, he don't, said, don't smoke any weed. And he said, uh, eat more, eat meat and weight, lift weights. So, yay. And I'm like, Doc, I smoke weed like once a month when I go to California. And he's like, yeah, that's enough. And I'm like, I was like talking to the doctor, like, Doc, I've got all these medical problems. And he's like, the marijuana is responsible for all of them. I'm like, are you sure about that? And he's like, yes. I'm like, oh, okay. You've ruined your life already. It's too late. You've ingested. No right. So Fear Supa literally in the chat says smoking weed and working out goes hand in hand, right? That's what everybody at the, at the big meaty bro gym that I know, I don't go there, but like everybody there smokes weed and they're, mm -mm. Privatization of medical treatments is... It's a bad thing. It's a bad thing, unfortunately. If you try one weed, you're done with life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one weed will ruin you. Just... Mind muscle connection, weed pro it. What's your thoughts on life? I smoke marijuana once and now I'm deaf and blind. What is weed? <laughs> We're talking about cannabis, marijuana, the stuff you smoke, the drug that's legal in California. <laughs> what is the meaning of life? 
Christian the meaning Minecraft of life server, excuse me. is dogs. It's dogs. That's the meaning of life. They're dogs. Also, maybe boobies. Mm, yeah. And another childhood actor ruined by the devil's lettuce. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, get, I'm getting another doctor because it was really strange and, and honestly quite frustrating to, to hear I that. Like, I was a nurse and that's not sound medical advice. Right. It was it was really, really strange. Um, I need... Do I have scavenger? Where the hell is scavenger? Yeah, I probably need scavenger, and I'm going to take that off. And run gung-ho. Yeah, that's probably going to be better. Perfect. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I'm familiar with Warhammer 40k. Not really a big fan of it, but I've played it a little bit. You need a chiropractor? Dude, Cardio Helix, you're going to laugh about this. It made me so mad. Uh, Vlad Goku, thank you for following. At first, my insurance would cover no doctor's visits anywhere. Uh, I had to drive two hours to go see a doctor. So I called a friend of mine who owns a private insurance company, and then he called my insurance company and found out they'd been sending me the wrong doctor's list. So I just picked the closest doctor to me, somebody that I could just get to in like, like 10 minutes, right? <clears throat> and it says, you know, it's a registered medical doctor, and I get there. It's a freaking chiropractor clinic, an alternative therapy massage place where they do cold lasers and aromatherapy and align your chakras and shit like that. But they have one real medical doctor on staff so that it qualifies as a medical practice. Now, thankfully, I looked into this, and the doctor that works there also has four other practices and you know residency at a hospital and like all this other kind of stuff i think they basically just paid her to be there so that they can be the real medical doctor it was it really just pissed me off but she she seemed like a good doctor so i went to the place and, and did the thing and my insurance did cover it but then uh my problem was worse than anticipated so i had to go to a specialist and the specialist i went to pretty much 100 percent blew me off it was terrible like i, I waited two hours they they told me, even though my insurance... I have an HMO plan, which is... No, I'm not bipolar, Big Benz. Uh, an HMO plan is... Um, it's, it's basically welfare. Like, 90% of people that have HMO have welfare or Medicare. Medicare, not Medicaid. And a lot of doctors just won't take that, that welfare plan. They Or that assisted plan. They just live, won't. Doesn't matter what it is. So it's even weirder when a guy comes in in his 20s with an HMO plan. But I can't get a PPO plan because I don't have an employer because I work on YouTube. And that's why they wouldn't take it. But I go see my specialist doctor. He looks at me for like 10 minutes and tells me my problem isn't that bad and that I should lift weights and work out. When my regu I don't, I'm not going to get into it until I have a solution because it's really not even appropriate for this stream. And like I'm at a point where I have like real like physical medical problems and just like big like bad problems. Not like I feel bad, not I'm sick, not I'm fat and I stream and I don't work out, but actual real medical issues, right? And the dude just totally, totally blew me off, and he was like, you should lift weights and eat more meat. And I'm like, I, I eat healthy, and he's like, don't eat healthy, eat meat. I'm like, okay. And I'm like, well, you know, I go to the gym and I work out almost every day. He's like, well, what do you do? He's like, I do cardio. He's like, don't do any cardio, lift weights. I'm like, is that really necessary? Yes. Like, what oh, the no, fuck? He you eat more meat than fat. I guess, I guess he thought you were a lanky dude, but you're not really lanky. <laughs> right, he thought you yeah, meat and fat. Apologies. But it was super, super annoying. And he told me that all of my medical problems were caused by marijuana, which annoyed me more than anything. I'm actually doing straight shit with this gun now. This really isn't the map for it. This is a gun you need to be able to flank with, and I'm just kind of, like, trying to face check people here. I should make babies and Jess. Uh, wow, that guy shot me around the corner. Okay, um, I just found the best thing. Okay. Uh, Nicole has original cells from the from an episode of Street Shark, like for sale. 
That's a rare one. Right? They try to sell on the eBay store like where she works, and no one was buying them for some reason. I was like, why? The street shark. Ruin slaughtered. Oh my god, that's super annoying. This guy's just running around rocketing people. Yeah, the conservatives are really against marijuana for a lot of reasons, which is funny because it would make so much money and they're all supposed to be pro-business and stuff. You watch Naruto? Nah, dude. Ace, I do not watch Naruto. I watch anime, but I don't watch kids' shows, dude. Naruto is a kids' show. Like, I don't watch, uh... I, I do watch Voltron. Voltron's a kids' show, but I still watch it. But no, nah, I don't watch Naruto, or Yu-Gi-Oh, or Cardcaptor Sakura, or some things like that. I'm, I'm a little bit- I'm a little bit removed from those. Are you gonna grow out a man bun? Nah, dude, come on, give me a break. No man buns. I'm gonna get my hair cut soon. Man, bun. uh, man buns are for you jeans. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure is great. I'm not wearing a man bun. I'm allowed to have opinions and say that I don't like things. I don't care how 2018 it is. I, I'm allowed to dislike things. <laughs> Do you not want children for financial reasons or it's a totally different reason? The real answer is that I am a... Wow. Wow, I thought I shot him in the crotch. <laughs> I am a grossly irresponsible person, and I would like to keep up my gross irresponsibility. Uh, Jessica, could you do me a... F oh, we're gonna go eat soon, aren't we? You're about it. What do you want? Um, I, was gonna I was gonna ask you to charge the Segway, because I think Donnie's about to call. Oh, it's charging already. Oh, perfect. I'm a responsible adult that charges in. I kinda don't. No, I noticed. I was like, it burp be enough charge for when I go out for Pokemans or Brad's hungry yellow. I, I never let it get below half charge, so you can always take a short trip. I'm dead. Yeah, probably not uh, PSK get crazy. Probably not. What's going on over here? Well, now they're mad at me. This this next bit's gonna be rougher then. Or I'm just gonna get yeah I'm just gonna get. There's not even any roughness to it. I just you just get murdered. That's all it is. I need to fire these. So it's a Segway. I haven't seen one of those forever. Yeah, dude, I have a Segway. I have a Segway Nine Bot. That's the one I talked about earlier in the stream. That uh, a Chinese company. Helped bankrupt Segway and then buy it? Yeah, I have one of those. Then they paid me to promote it. Funny how that is. Thanks, River Lizard, man. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. It's actually a little depressing to me that right now I'm leading my team. Ah, that was almost the perfect time to start slicing and dicing. But not quite. Hello, Austin1. Good to see you. Yeah, that's that sounds awesome. Are you being sarcastic? No, I love smoothies, especially after a hard day of exercising when I'm super hungry and tired. You want <laughs> Hey, the doctor said I have to eat meat. Meat and fat. So let's go find the fattest piece of meat and eat that. He also said no carbs, which pisses me off because I can't eat rice. There is, that's, that's stupid. That is, I hate when people are like, don't eat carbs at all. Carbs are right. And I'm like... You're stupid. Yeah. Termite Bubbler says, How come you stream on Mix and Twitchers, Twitch is a bigger audience? Well, I could stream on YouTube. That's a big sub count there. But uh, Mixer is an up-and-coming platform with a lot of room for growth. It's a lot harder to grow on Twitch than it is... Oh, come on. It's a lot harder to grow on Twitch than it is to grow here on Mixer. So it's kind of like playing in a smaller pond. I'm putting, getting a foothold. In case Mixer blows up for the future, because I do think Mixer is going to grow in the future. Twitch is not always going to be number one. Whoa, it may be whoa. Mixer, it may be Facebook, it may be something else. Because uh, I'm shooting a gun that's silent. Oh. I think, I think, I don't know. Are those like, are those guns? These are crossbows. Okay, They're little bitty baby crossbows. Okay. 
Okay, he's dead. Jazzy me out says Segway has roller skate type things now. I didn't know that. Sounds cool and dangerous. I'll give it a heads up, Jazzy. Who's on your team? It gets a little hard to be honest. <laughs> Sorry, that's funny. Ah, <laughs> uh, see, they just respawn so quick. Go to Whataburger. I don't like Whataburger, dude. I think Whataburger is gross. Every time I get there, I get sick. I get diarrhea. See you later, Helsing. Hope you get a non-restaurant job soon. Apparently, I'm leading this team with these stupid, stupid things. Five guys, they're called the Drifts. Okay. What about In N Out? I do like In N Out. In N Out In and Out's on point. In N Out, I don't get bad service, I don't get sick, I get better burgers, fresher food. In N Out's on point. I'm getting my aim back now. Oh, nope. No, I'm not. <laughs> Thought I was getting my aim back. Are you a Disney World fan? Nah, dude. Cardio Helix, I'm not a Disney World or Land fan. I, I'm not generally a th fan of, a, of, of brands or theme parks, really. So. Go to Dairy Queen. I mean, Dairy Queen has ice cream, which I, I enjoy, but... Probably go to Brahms over DQ. Should have Postmates. I'd probably order Ben & Jerry's over that. Yes, is the answer. Flames extinguished. I like covering this map in uh, little little stickies. Yeah, dude, you can Postmates from the Ben and Jerry store, and they have flavors that you can't buy in store. It's pretty fantastic. I cannot deny its fantasticness. Oh, that guy fantastic my face. Are you a fan of breasts? Why, yes I am. Chicken breast, duck breast, lamb breast, regular breast breast, though not for consumption, more for fondling. I'll help, okay. Buy it in bulk and ship it out of state? I could. I mean, the Postmate sponsorship isn't actually money, it's just free food. So, I probably could order some of the- I could probably order groceries and slowly stock up over time and make my own little store. No, we're not doing convenience Oh, come on, you grew up in a convenience store. You've already got the skill set for it, it. it's the perfect. The Tesla autopilot update includes a battle royale mode, good to know. Good to know. What happened to Cybernova? She got a copyright strike for like music in a video that she actually paid to have license in there and everything. That's because it's an auto yeah. thing. She'll have to appeal it. That's how YouTube does it. Just auto strikes like every single person. It's really frustrating. I'd buy bootleg Ben and Jerry's. I bought a Ben and Jerry's I did not like last week. I bought one. It was like it was called Oreo cookies and it was called Milk and Cookies, which yeah. was cookie dough, milk something, and Oreos, which sounded good, but something was like bad wrong with it. It didn't have a whole lot of flavor. It was very, the I texture was strange. It was the art, like the milk flavor they were trying to imitate. Yeah, they had like some milk flavor, and I think it like completely melted, and then they refroze it, and it didn't freeze right. Zach, thank you for the follow. It was really, ugh. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Yes, uh, Jacob Shriver, I am familiar with the allegories of, of the allegory of the cave, and in short, uh, I don't think it, uh, I don't think it fits in a short opinion. Uh, that is an amazing allegory for just how human beings make decisions. Alright guys, well I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up, I can tell my grill is hungry. 
and I am about to get another important phone call so I have some things to do. I was planning to stream a little bit longer but I got to go take care of some things. Optimize PUBG for the Tesla before they do on the op Xbox One. Yeah, they probably will. Speaking of pub, uh, optimizing, we are going to go ahead, uh, boobs for sure, Benz. We're going to go ahead and do a little raid when we're done here. I'm going to go ahead and put my headsets down. I am done. Thank you all for coming out. I hope you enjoyed the YouTube stream. I hope you enjoyed the Mixer stream. I'll probably stream it a lot here soon. I got to get a way to record and play at the same time, but my recording thing is there's so many things I've got going on are busted but we are going to do a raid on concealed bones I'm just going to hit slash raid and you guys that know her can drop her link in the chat and I will catch you guys later drift her out oh and uh when you raid her be sure to tell her my dog is fat the the raid hashtag is my dog is fat something like that something about fat animals see you guys later